what is up everybody it's finally cleared up it's not blowing 50 miles an hour it's not 20 degrees so we are going deer hunting we are trying to get my wife on a deer we've hunted probably I don't know, she's probably been six or seven times with me this year and we just hadn't, hadn't been able to get on a deer, but she's all ready. She's all decked out and all the clothes she's got and it's like 48 degrees out. About a 30 minute drive to where we're hunting today. So we'll see y'all in the deer stand. Let's do it! Oh, there's a car coming. Oh, there's a good buck now that I can. Well, we made it. There's already about 10 deer in the field, so we don't know what to do. We're about to get in the stand. <laughs> Low fuel, amount of diesel. But hopefully she gets a big buck on the ground tonight. We'll see. Alright guys, we made it to the stand. We still got about an hour and a half left of light. There was already 12 deer in the field when we got here, so hopefully they'll come back pretty quick and bring a buck along with them. We're gonna sit tight. Hopefully big boy walks out.
white stops um, on the top of his front leg. You see what I'm talking about? All right, come on. Finally did it. Yep, she got it done. This is her biggest buck, guys. First buck. First buck and biggest buck. Big, mature six pointer. Hold his head up. Hold his head up. Heck yeah. Where did I shoot it? Right there, right where you're aiming. He's legal now. He stinks. That one last night didn't. Is there an exit? Yeah, just follow me up there. Okay. Alright guys. Just gutted the deer. Now we're going to go home and hang it and then I'm going to take it to the ranch uh, tomorrow and we're going to process this deer and the two deer that we shot uh, the other day. But this is something I've never done. I've never tried the heart. And I saved it off of this deer because it was clean. She shot them right through the lungs. So I'm going to cook this heart up uh, in the next couple days and see how it tastes. Well, we got the grill going. I wish we were eating back straps tonight, but we already had chicken thawed out, so we're eating chicken. Got old six pointer hung up. That's a this is like the probably one of the best cold bucks you could ever take. He's three and a half to four and a half. Six points, he's thick, you can tell he's old, he's not gonna get any bigger. Um, this is a big genetic pool that they got out there. Um, six pointer so he really wanted to get rid of this guy Angel had no problem shooting this guy it is an awesome first buck I, I'd shoot this buck if I could um, she really wanted to take a deer this year with her bow but she didn't feel comfortable uh, that she could make an ethical shot and uh, it's getting close to the end of season so we took her out there she dropped him one shot with the old 308. So she's gonna get one with her bow next year. So be ready for that, cause she's practicing a bunch with it. I'm gonna take this bad boy to the ranch tomorrow. Kyle's gonna come help me. I got his two deer here still in the cooler. We're gonna take them to the ranch, process them up. It's still like, it's dropped down to like 37 degrees. So he's just fine hanging in here for tonight. We're going first thing in the morning. Thanks for watching. That was a really fun video for me. 
Uh, I got to get my wife on her first buck, and I know she had a lot of fun. She's inside cooking right now, so I'm gonna go eat some dinner and eat good. What's up, guys? We are back at the ranch. We're about to do a little processing. Got Angel's buck in there, and then Kyle's two deer in there. Got us a meat mixer and a meat grinder. Dad already set the table up for us, so we're gonna get after it, get this meat done. All right, guys, just gonna show you kind of what we do. Uh, we get the pork tip for uh, mixing with our sausage, but we basically just take the hand, all the quarters uh, minus the back straps and uh, divvy it out into sausage, burger, um, whatever else you want to make. But we just cut all the silver skin off of it and then grind it up, mix fat in, mix spices in, and grind it up again and then package it. But I'll, uh, I'll film a little bit more whenever we start packaging stuff. We just gotta, we're gonna try to grind this out and <laughs> grind it. Grind it out and uh, get it done as fast as possible. Well, we got this guy started. Got all the back straps on him, tendon lines off him. Kyle's working on deboning one of the back, back legs. Dog's going crazy. But here's the sausage. So we take uh, this bacon ends and pieces and mix it in with the deer meat. And then uh, we just use this seasoning right here. You can get it at Cabela's uh, breakfast sausage. It's really good. So you just mix all that up and then uh, bag it up in these guys. And that's it. You out, mullet singer? I'm out. All right, guys. We're fin finishing up here. We got uh, got our ribs. We cut them in half and then cut them into like three rib sections, tenderloins, back straps, all that good stuff. And I told y'all I was gonna save the heart. I've never tried the heart on a deer. I'm gonna eat it. I don't know. Leave a comment below on how I should cook a heart because I've never tried it, but I heard it's good. And I know a lot of people eat it. Okay guys, we're done. We got a fuller cool of meat. We got the meat. Got all Angel's buck. I'm gonna take this home and I'm gonna cape the head and boil it up for her and make it all pretty and white so she can put it in her office. We're gonna, we're done here. We're gonna clean up everything, get home. It took us a couple hours to get all this done. All right guys, we're done here. Hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching and get ready for the next one. We're going to the Cayman Islands. I'm going iguana hunting with a pellet gun. We're gonna be, <laughs> Kyle just spilled coke all over himself. We're going to the Cayman Islands, iguana hunting with uh, air rifles, um, deep sea fishing. We're going fishing for lobster and probably scoop a few conch off the bottom and uh, make some dips and all kinds of stuff. So stay tuned. We're gonna have a lot of fun in the Caymans. I'll be there for a while. So there'll be a couple videos for me down there. Peace.